Mikhail Nikolaevich Baryshnikov, nicknamed Misha, is a Russian-American dancer, choreographer, and actor born in the Soviet Union, often cited alongside Vaslav Nijinsky and Rudolf Nureyev as one of the greatest ballet dancers in history. After a promising start in the Kirov Ballet in Leningrad, he defected to Canada in 1974 for more opportunities in Western dance. After freelancing with many companies, he joined the New York City Ballet as a principal dancer to learn George Balanchine's style of movement. He then danced with the American Ballet Theatre, where he later became artistic director. Barry Shnikov has spearheaded many of his own artistic projects and has been associated in particular with promoting modern dance, premiering dozens of new works, including many of his own. His success as a dramatic actor on stage, Cinema and television has helped him become probably the most widely recognized contemporary ballet dancer. In 1977, he received a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and a Golden Globe nomination for his work as Yuriko Paikin in the film The Turning Point. He also had a significant role in the last season of the television series Sex and the City. Life and career, Barry Shnikov was born in Riga, Latvia. His parents were Russian. Alexandra and Nikolai Baryshnikov. Baryshnikov began his ballet studies in Riga in 1960. In 1964, he entered the Vaganova School, in what was then Leningrad. Baryshnikov soon won the top prize in the junior division of the Volna International Ballet Competition. He joined the Kirov Ballet and Mariinsky Theatre in 1967, dancing the peasant part de Der and Giselle. Recognizing Barry Shnikov's talent, in particular the strength of his stage presence and purity of his classical technique, several Soviet choreographers, including Oleg Vinogradov, Konstantin Sergeyev, Igor Trenichev, and Leonid Jacobson, choreographed ballets for him. Barry Shnikov made signature roles of Jacobson's 1969 virtuosic vestris along with an intensely emotional Albrecht in Giselle. While still in the Soviet Union, he was called by New York Times critic Clive Barnes the most perfect dancer I have ever seen. On June 29, 1974, while on tour in Canada with the Kirov Ballet, Barry Shnikov defected, requesting political asylum in Toronto, and joined the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. He also announced to the dance world he would not go back to the USSR. He later stated that Christina Berlin, an American friend of his, helped engineer his defection during his 1970 tour of London. His first televised performance after coming out of temporary seclusion in Canada was with the National Ballet of Canada in La Sylphide. He then went on to the United States. From 1974 to 1978, he was principal dancer with the American Ballet Theatre, where he partnered with Gelsey Kirkland. He also worked with the New York City Ballet, with George Balanchine and as a regular guest artist with the Royal Ballet. He also toured with ballet and modern dance companies around the world for 15 months. Several roles were created for him, including roles Opus 19, The Dreamer, by Jerome Robbins, Rhapsody, by Frederick Ashton, and other dances with Natalia Makarova by Jerome Robbins. He returned to ABT in 1980 as dancer and artistic director, a position he held for a decade. On July 3, 1986, he became a naturalized citizen of the United States. From 1990 to 2002, Barry Shnikov was artistic director of the White Oak Dance Project, a touring company he co-founded with Mark Morris. In 2003, he won the Prix Benoit de la Danse for Lifetime Achievement. In 2005 he launched the Barry Shnikov Arts Center in New York. Dance Barry Shnikov's talent was obvious from his youth, but the Soviet system in which he grew up was ill-suited for developing it. Shorter than most dancers, he could not tower over a ballerina endpoint and was therefore relegated to secondary parts. More frustrating to him, the Soviet dance world hewed closely to 19th-century traditions and deliberately shunned the creative choreographers of the West, whose work Barry Shnikov glimpsed in occasional tours and films. His main goal in leaving the Soviet Union was to work with these innovators. In the first two years after his defection, he danced for no fewer than 13 different choreographers, including Jerome Robbins, Glenn Tidley, Alvin Ailey, and Twyla Tharp. 
it doesn't matter if every ballet is a success or not, he told New York Times dance critic Anna Kisselgu in 1976, the new experience gives me a lot. He cited his fascination with the way Zaley mixed classical and modern technique and his initial discomfort when Tharp insisted he incorporate eccentric personal gestures in the dance. In 1978, he abandoned his freelance career to spend 18 months as a principal of the New York City Ballet, run by the legendary George Balanchine. Mr. B, as he was known, rarely welcomed guest artists and had refused to work with both Nureyev and Makarova. Barry Shnikov's decision to devote his full attentions to the New York company stunned the dance world. Balanchine never created a new work for Barry Shnikov, though he did coach the young dancer in his distinctive style, and Barry Shnikov triumphed in such signature roles as Apollo, the Prodigal Son, and Rubies. Robbins did, however, create Opus 19 slash The Dreamer for Barry Shnikov and NYCB favorite Patricia McBride. In 1980, he became artistic director of American Ballet Theater and his role changed from performer to director. However in 1989, he left when the company went behind his back and fired his second-in-command Charles France. Nevertheless, his fascination with the new has stood him in good stead. As he observed, it doesn't matter how high you lift your leg. The technique is about transparency. Simplicity and making an earnest attempt to Euro the White Oak project was formed to create original work for older dancers. In a run ending just short of his 60th birthday in 2007, he appeared in a production of four short plays by Samuel Beckett staged by avant-garde director Joanna Calatas. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1999. In 2000, he was awarded the National Medal of Arts. He has received three honorary degrees, on May 11, 2006, from New York University. On September 28, 2007, from Shenandoah Conservatory of Shenandoah University. And on May 23, 2008, from Montclair State University. For the duration of the 2006 summer, he went on tour with Hell's Kitchen Dance, which was sponsored by the Barry Shnikov Arts Center. Featuring works by Barry Shnikov Art Center residents Atsur Barton and Benjamin Millipiad, the company toured the United States and Spain. In late August 2007 Barry Shnikov performed Matt's X Place with Arna Laguna at Dornzen's Huss in Stockholm. Barry Shnikov has performed in Israel three times, in 1996, when he appeared with a White Oak Dance Project at the Roman Amphitheater in Caesarea, in 2010, when he performed with Arna Laguna and in 2011, when he starred in nine performances of In Paris at the Suzanne Delil Center in Tel Aviv. In an interview to Aritz newspaper in 2011, he expressed his opposition to artistic boycotts of Israel and described the enthusiasm of Israeli contemporary dance as astounding. Film and Television Barry Shnikov made his American television dancing debut in 1976, on the PBS program in performance Live from Wolf Trap. During the Christmas season of 1977, CBS brought his highly acclaimed American Ballet Theatre production of Tchaikovsky's classic ballet The Nutcracker to television, and it has remained to this day the most popular and most often shown television production of the work, at least in the U.S. In addition to Barry Shnikov in the title role, Gelsey Kirkland, Alexander Mins, and many members of the American Ballet Theatre also starred. The production was videotaped in Canada. After being shown a few times by CBS, it moved to PBS, where it was shown annually every Christmas season for many years, and still is by some PBS stations. It was first released on DVD by MGM UA. The remastered DVD of the performance, issued by Culta Video in 2004, is a bestseller during the Christmas season. The DVD has now been released in the UK by Digital Classics. Although Tchaikovsky's ballet has been presented on TV many times in many different versions, the Barry Shnikov version is one of only two to be nominated for an Emmy Award. The other one was Mark Morris' The Hard Nut, Morris's intentionally exaggerated and satirical version of the ballet. Barry Shnikov also performed in two Emmy-winning television specials, one on ABC and one on CBS, in which he danced to music from Broadway and Hollywood, respectively.
During the 1970s and 1980s, he appeared many times with American Ballet Theatre on Live from Lincoln Center and great performances. Over the years, he has also appeared on several telecasts of the Kennedy Center Honors. Barry Schnikov performed in his first film role soon after arriving in New York. He portrayed the character Yuri Kopeikin, a famous Russian womanizing ballet dancer, in the 1977 film The Turning Point, for which he received an Oscar nomination. He co-starred with Gregory Hines and Isabella Rossellini in the 1985 film White Nights, choreographed by Twyla Tharp. And he was featured in the 1987 film Dancers. On television, in the last season of Sex and the City, he played a Russian artist, Alexan Petrovsky, who woos Carrie Bradshaw relentlessly and takes her to Paris. He co-starred in Company Business with Gene Hackman. On November 2, 2006, Barry Shnikov and Chef Alice Waters were featured on an episode of the Sundance Channel's original series Iconoclasts. The two have a long friendship. They discuss their lifestyles, sources of inspiration, and social projects that make them unique. During the program, Alice Waters visited Barry Shnikov's Arts Center in New York City. The Hell's Kitchen dance tour brought him to Berkeley to visit Alice Waters' restaurant Chis Panisse. On July 17, 2007, the PBS NewsHour with Jim Lehrer featured a profile of Barry Shnikov and his art center. Barry Shnikov appears, uncredited, in the 2014 film Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruiter's Interior Minister Sorokin, stage, on April 11, the Euro 21, 2012. Barry Shnikov starred in a new play directed by Dmitry Kramov, titled In Paris. The play was presented in the Santa Monica College Performing Arts Center, at the broad stage. His co-star was Anna Semyakina. Next role as character in the stage adaptation of Anton Chekhov a Euro unregistered trademark S Man in a Case. As he said, I grew up reading Chekhov's stories and plays. I have wanted to explore a Shekhov story for the stage for some time and I'm delighted to bring man in a case to Berkeley representative both tales are about solitary men and their self-imposed restrictions. We know very little about the character in the first story, man in a case, except that he teaches classical Greek and he's kind of eccentric and conservative. But then something happens to him that is unexpected. The second story, about love, provides an arresting contrast to the first work. At their core both stories are about love. And I think it's a romantic show in many respects that is perfect for Berkeley Rep's audience. Mikhail Baryshnikov Family Baryshnikov has a daughter, Alexandra Baryshnikova, from his relationship with actress Jessica Lange. When Baryshnikov and Lange met, he spoke very little English. They communicated in French instead. Barry Shnikov is in a long-term relationship with former ballerina Lisa Reinhardt. They have had three children together, Peter, Anna, and Sophia. In an interview with Larry King, Barry Shnikov said that he did not believe in marriage because the commitment that people make to each other did not have anything to do with a legal marriage. He stated that he was not religious, so standing in front of an altar would not mean anything to him. Despite the above, in an article in the Wall Street Journal for February 25, 2012, based on an interview conducted on his 64th birthday, Barry Shnikov refers several times to his wife. They were legally married in 2006. Barry Shnikov currently owns a home at the Punta Cana Resort and Club in the Dominican Republic. See also, List of Eastern Bloc defectors, List of Russian ballet dancers, References External links Mikhail Baryshnikov at the Internet Movie Database, Mikhail Baryshnikov at All Movie, Mikhail Baryshnikov Biography, Baryshnikov Art Center, 450 West 37th Street, NYC, Baryshnikov Dance Foundation, Kennedy Center Honors Biography as of 2000, Information Community LJ devoted to Mikhail Baryshnikov, Mikhail Baryshnikov Entry in the Concise Encyclopedia Britannica, Mikhail Baryshnikov entry in the Columbia Encyclopedia, Sunday NY Times article by Anna Kisilgu, October 28, 1979, Mikhail Baryshnikov and Anna Laguna to perform in Israel, archival footage of Mikhail Baryshnikov performing Kakani in 2002 at Jacob's Pillow.